guys, I'm so excited about a recipe today. Uh, it's gonna blow your mind. We're gonna take a can of corn and we're gonna make the most moist, decadent cornbread you've ever had in your life. It's a recipe from Paraguay called Chipoasu. Let's get started. All right, so the basic ingredients for this recipe are just uh, corn. Uh, traditionally, it's done right off the husk, uh, but we're gonna do some, some fast forward here, and we're just gonna use some kernel corn out of a can and uh, a can of cream corn. Uh, so again, things that you have uh, in your pantry already from the quarantine uh, are gonna come right in handy. Uh, the other major ingredients are just eggs and cheese. Uh, the traditional cheese of Paraguay is called queso Paraguay. Um, we obviously don't have that here in Ohio, so I'm gonna use a combination of uh, some fresh uh, white cheese, uh, some queso fresco, uh, and then just some quesadilla cheese to mix in. Um, so I'll crumble those up together, uh, and those will blend in and melt in really well uh, into the cornbread. Um, the other traditional ingredients are eggs and onions. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of red pepper and green onion as well, just adds a little bit of color um, and a little bit more flavor. And there's my lovely assistant. Say hi. Host. Oh, host, I'm sorry. She's not the assistant, she is the host. She's um, my assistant. Thank you. So I'll, I'll start uh, chopping these veggies. Um, we're gonna wanna saute those. Uh, in a pan and then we'll add all of our ingredients into a bowl, store them up and then throw them in the oven at 400 degrees uh, for about 40 minutes. Uh, but you, you definitely want to check on this uh, as it's baking um, just to make sure that you pull it out while it's still moist. You don't want to overcook it. The, the heat of this thing is having it come out hot and moist um, and it just, it'll blow your mind. Um, so we'll start breaking down these veggies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up uh, onion, pepper, and a green onion, and I'm going to saute those. So while Eve's breaking eggs and pouring milk into the bowl, um, hopefully I'll get through these and get those sauteing. Those will get added to the bowl, then we'll add in all 10 ounces of our queso fresco, queso fresco. and then 6 ounces of some quesadilla cheese. Queso quesadilla. Quesadilla, and then Quesadilla. we'll give that all a big stir, and it's going to be thick and soupy. Um, and then we're going to add in uh, some cream corn and some kernel corn, stir that in, pour it off into uh, uh, the dish that, that we're then going to put into the, the oven. So again, that's going to be 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. Um, so Eve's going to work on breaking eggs. I'm going to break I'm, down these veggies. I'm carefully breaking them so I don't get the like like rotten egg on the edge of the table. That sounds like a great idea. And also grab my stool. All right, so while Eva's washing her hands, I'll explain uh, where this recipe comes from. So uh, my dad's family is from Paraguay, and we were planning on a trip to Paraguay this summer. But coronavirus stopped. Coronavirus has made things a little... Hard. Hard. We're not sure exactly what's going to happen. So we wanted to start sharing some of the um, the more traditional par wine recipes that are easy to make with um, stuff that's in your pantry or in your fridge and um, or show you guys just how easy they are. Or even in your cabinet. And uh, that way we get a chance to you know get excited about the trip for whenever it is we're actually going to get to take it. and share the um, these family recipes uh, with you guys as well. We've been practicing Spanish since 2019 in September. I want to I want to cut the green onion, Dad. You're going to cut the green onion? Yeah. Did you finish the eggs? You cracked the last egg. You want me to crack the last egg? Okay. Um, get rid of the roots first. Oh, roots. Yep. And then when, as you're chopping, when you're done chopping, we're gonna just throw oh, that into the big bowl. Tip of the day. Let's hear it. Um, there's gonna be a few tip of the days. Cause I told you how to, um, what to do to make it easier to crack an egg. But also, so tip of the day, when you're cutting, you want to um, curl your fingers. Okay. You're gonna wanna curl your fingers like this. But that's not all. You're gonna wanna also curl your thumb like you're just making a fist. But instead of doing this with your thumb, put it under. Or yeah, you, you want to tuck your thumb, this. right? Because you, you don't want that little guy hanging out. 
and then you're just gonna wanna and just let your knuckles guide the knife and then start with the tip of your knife at the cutting board and then just slide. That's a very nice cut. Yeah, just toss that in the, in the scraps. There you go. So while she's uh, chopping that, um, it'll thin? be easier very the, thin? Do the you want other it way. Very thin? Yeah, we, we want it very thin, but this is sturdy enough where you can hold it right here. So just kind of like line your fingers up here, but keep tucking your thumb and just go really thin know, along this way, okay? While she's doing that, I'm gonna add some milk to the eggs. It's a half a cup of milk. Um, we usually have whole milk in the house. Today we only had two and a half percent. So I'm actually cheating and I'm using some heavy cream because I want this to be, um, I don't mind the extra fat. I think it's gonna add uh, to the flavor. And I think Our it's onions. right. Our onions are good and translucent. So which is what we're spoon. going for, so they are done. Okay, that actually is perfect. I just eyeballed it. Just eyeballed? Nice. That's, uh, that's one of our core skill techniques here in the house. Eyeball. Just eyeballing it. And if you don't know what eyeball it means, it's basically just go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it. Don't even, don't even think about messing up. Just go for it. All right. So our next. That's why I do in gymnastics. What when like I'm really scared of doing something. Like I'm a bit scared of doing it. Cause Dad says I'm brave and I'm not scared of anything. Dad, I'm scared of tarantulas. What? When have you seen a tarantula? I'm scared of tarantulas even when they're in books. Okay. I have fears sometimes. Sometimes your children do have fears and they're scared of things. Are you scared? Why do you have such a big pile on your side? Okay. I'm working faster than you. We Here, need... No, Dad, I'm Here. just doing this. Oh. I'm being a real chef. You need to... Well, we're going to stir it afterwards, sweetie. Dad, you need to... <sighs> you, are you saying we need to distribute it as we're breaking it in? One big chunk fell out. It's a really weird noise that I can make with my mouth. Alright, so that's 10 ounces of queso fresco. This is an 8 ounce package of quesadilla cheese. We only need 6 ounces. Eva, would you do the honors and eyeball that for us? Yes. Tell me when to stop, Dad. Well, that's why I'm asking you. I want you to eyeball it. Tell me when to stop. I don't want to add the whole thing, so I'm like... I hold those. Alright, flip it back over. There we you are go. getting our bowl. Oh my god. Wait, so that's normal corn? That's normal corn. So we just got some kernel corn in there. And let me get a spoon so we can get everything out of there. We don't want anything to go to waste. This smells good. Yeah, it's, we can taste it, sweetie. I love corn. I love corn on the cob, too. Tip it. Okay, so this is the cream corn. Cream corn. You, okay, you can This start. doesn't take a whole lot of stirring. I just want to make sure that the green onions and the cheese are fully distributed. It looks like the corn kernels and the cream corn have done a great job of getting distributed. So we should be good there. Is it great? Yeah. Here. <laughs> I love butter. What? Like it on popcorn? Like, wait, I want that. I want to eat that. I want to eat that. All right, well, I'm going to set it aside. We're not going to eat butter on camera. Okay. okay. I'm gonna just eat it off camera. Hey, uh, dry your hands. Um, and while she's hands. eating butter, well, Eva's eating butter, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour off uh, our batter yum. into our pan. So we've got this grease with butter. Yum, yum, yum. And yum, now yum. we're just going to pour that on in. 
And there's no elegant way to do this. Just dump it in, smooth it out so that it's kind of even. I actually ate the butter. I actually ate it. You actually ate the butter. Look. I'm. You know what? I'm not surprised. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're hilarious. Okay. Get off my stool. Okay, so why don't you swallow that butter so you can talk? I will. I will. Okay, Dad. So you're gonna want 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're gonna want it at 40 minutes. And we're gonna check it. Check it. a little bit beforehand check to make sure. It. Check, check it. it. Check it. Comment down below if you like this recipe and if that subscribe button is right, make it great right now. Hit that notification bell and make sure to like this.